I think the word vulgar and vulgarity in all its forms um, is such a powerful word. It doesn't have to be pigeonholed into adjective, object, subject, whatever. It's such a, a potent symbol, I think, for everybody, because in a way it's a strangely archaic word that vulgarity... Um, is sort of the, the new good taste. Who's, what's vulgar for one person is, you know, perfectly in good taste for another. You know, for a certain set of people, Kim Kardashian could be in the worst possible taste. For another a whole group of other people, she's an absolute icon of beauty and, and wonderfulness. I'm not quite sure that I've always considered English taste as such, but more... I consider myself an international designer because right from my very beginning as a put going into the dress business in 1969 I took my dresses to America where they were accepted by so-called film star royalty and they were rather extreme I don't know about vulgar, but they'd have been accepted as very different, but following on in the slightly hippie vein, then going through into, say, the um, mid-70s, where the, I did, had experiments with punk and dresses with holes in them, going into designing a dress that I thought was for royalty and a royal wedding. So I've always really gone into my own, my own sort of little channel, merely because if people are going to buy a Zandra Rhodes, they want to buy a Zandra Rhodes. They don't want to buy a dress that looks like Gina Frattini. They don't want to buy something that looks like Vivian Westwood. It's got to look like I'm wearing Zandra Rhodes today or I'm wearing Versace today. I think that that's, to me, how how it's got to be looked at. I think as a designer, you're really a professional tightrope walker. So you can do a design that you think is new, and on the other hand, if it shocks, it could be considered vulgar, or it could be just shocking and then not shocking when other people wear it. Um, I mean, I think now when you see what they go out in the catwalk or very short, it might be considered shocking as soon as fashion changes and goes down to, you know, to the floor again. So it's a very fine tightrope and it's a fine thing between shocking, vulgar, experimental. I think that this is going to be a rather wonderful line that people will have to choose for themselves how they see it.